Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Paul Cavage. We're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday, and this is Lab Interpretation 10. And this is a set of labs that came from a client who did a fantastic job kind of detailing out their initial labs and then what a treat what the treatment was, and then and just keep kind of monitoring that over time. This is a person who didn't have a lot of thyroid symptoms at the, at the start. They were going in for like more of a wellness checkup and they went to a functional or integrative practitioners who have this narrow defined set of values for where they think uh, an optimal range is. And then they're forcing, trying to force lab values into that range. And they think that's optimizing somebody's health. Lab values can flow back and forth. Our blood chemistry is dynamic. And sometimes when we see lab values that are outside of what somebody's predetermined optimal is, that doesn't mean the person's broken. It doesn't mean they have dysfunction. It may mean the person is just adapting to their environment. And so a TSH in this case, higher than somebody's predetermined optimal range, triggered a cascade of events that created a hypothyroid condition for this person. And so this led to a couple year odyssey of struggling with not feeling well and trying to find a magical dose of thyroid hormone to optimize her health when she should have never been put on thyroid hormone to begin with. So let's walk through these labs. In January, this person gets a TSH done 4.08, which is within the lab reference range, but above somebody's uh, optimal range maybe of one to two. Free T4 is within the range at 1.2. Free T3 is within the range at 3.2. This is a person who didn't have a glandular problem. Now, we don't have total thyroid hormone, we don't have T3 uptake, we don't have antibodies, this is all we have. But if the person has free T4 of 1.2 and their free T3 is 3.2, then and their ratio of free T3 to free T4 is 0.32, this person is making enough thyroid hormone to convert enough T4 to appropriate levels of free T3. Now, there could be other issues going on, but this person wasn't, she said they were, she was not hypothyroid, didn't have a lot of hypothyroid signs and symptoms, maybe had some other health issues on, I, I don't know fully, but this is a person who didn't need thyroid hormone replacement and was put on 15 milligrams of NP thyroid. She goes back and gets blood work done in June. TSH is still 3.59. Free T4, look at this. Free T4 got worse. Free T3 got worse, not better. And so what did the doctor do? The doctor says, wow, we need to get that TSH into an optimal range between one and two. And so we're going to give you 45 milligrams of NP thyroid. Goes back for blood work in October. TSH is 1.61. The free T4 is low. The free T3 is low. And the person wants to now give them, and these aren't lab low. These are what we might call functionally low. And so the practitioner says, you know, we're going to give you even more. We're going to give you 60 milligrams and try and get those levels higher, right? So November comes around, she gets labs done, 0 0.993, free T4 is 1.1, that's back within somebody's maybe optimal range, and then free T3 is still low at 2.6. So what do you think happens? The person says, well, that's still too low, we're gonna give you 75 milligrams of NP thyroid. Person goes back and gets blood work done in February, TSH is 0 0.377, Free T4 is within somebody's optimal range is 0.1.07, and the free T3 is 2.5. The clinician doesn't change their medication dose. I'm not sure why. I would have guessed they maybe would have reduced the dose based on the TSH at 0.377, but maybe kept it the same because the free T3 was lower on a higher dose or lower on lower than higher. So they went up in their in their amount of T3 they were taking and T4 they were taking, and the free T3 went down. So then May comes around, TSH is now 1.5, free T4 got worse at 0 0.80, free T3 is a bit better at 2.7, but still, this is probably telling somebody they're not, these values aren't in their optimal range, and so they now give 90 milligrams of NP thyroid. This is somebody who doesn't understand thyroid physiology treating people. This is scary. This pisses me off. This is what creates problems. We should not be treating lab values on their own. When we see a value, when we see this going on, if the patient's got no signs and symptoms, don't treat them. 
if the person has signs and symptoms and had these lab values, then we should ask what else is going on in their physiology. The gland is obviously making enough thyroid hormone. Is there inflammation? Is there stressors going on? Is there reduced peripheral conversion that's causing the thyroid gland to increase TSH to make more T3 to compensate for what the peripheral tissues uh, can't do or aren't doing? We have to ask better questions, not just flood the body with thyroid hormone to get to somebody's optimal. This is nonsense and it's creating challenges for people. Now when this person goes back in August, 0.352, with the, with the 90 milligrams of NP thyroid, now they're lab low. Free T4 got a little bit better. Free T3 didn't change. The patient's frustrated. She starts a weaning process that's gonna take her on a journey over the next year. The following year, July, she goes back and gets blood work done. TSH 4.45, now almost lab high. Free T4 is 1.04. Free T3 is 2.5. The person gets put back on 60 milligrams of NP thyroid because of the TSH. But look, the free T4 is better. Free T3 is about the same. It hasn't really changed. November, the person goes back. Yep, suppress the TSH, 1.40 on the 60 milligrams. But free T4 is 0.53. There's barely any in there. Now, what's happening to it? Is it getting converted to T3? Is it getting deactivated to reverse T3? We don't know because totals weren't done, reverse wasn't done, free T3 wasn't done. But what happens? The person gets put on 90 milligrams of NP thyroid, okay? So now March, they go back and it's 0 0.308 for TSH. Your free T3, free T4 did get better. Free T3, 2.5, it's about what it was before on 60. And so now the person gets dropped to 60 milligrams of armor because the TSH is too low. This physician is treating a TSH and doesn't, isn't maybe running these values, but really doesn't understand what's going on with chemistry. And then in October or in June, the person is, goes back for labs. TSH is 1.3, free T4 is 0 0.75, it's worse. No free T3 done. So free T4 is 0.75, no free T3 done. Medication gets changed to a different uh, glandular, 65 milligrams of Adiza. She's on that dose, goes back for labs in December. TSH is down at 0.83. Free T4 is back down again at 0.63. Free T3 is at 2.8 on the same dose. Then, then nothing gets changed. And then in April, we get a free T3, free, a TSH of 2.11, free T4 is 0 0.90, free T3 is actually worse. This is a problem that was created by a clinician who was stuck on treating lab values, trying to optimize a TSH, trying to optimize a free T4, trying to optimize a free T3. They don't understand thyroid physiology. Somebody told them that these values, these narrower values, not lab reference ranges, but optimal ranges are where we need to force somebody's lab ranges, like playing whack-a-mole down the Jersey Shore. If we can just force the lab ranges in lab values into this narrow range, we've optimized the person. And that is not true. That's like saying if we suppress cholesterol levels with a stat into a certain range, we've improved their health. Most functional medicine practitioners or integrated practitioners would say, that's crazy. Taking a statin into lower cholesterol doesn't improve somebody's health, and yet we use the same principles when we're treating thyroid physiology. We're treating numbers. We're trying to force them into a lab reference range, and it's creating a problem. This is why the literature says that probably 60 to 90% of the people being treated with thyroid medication were put on it inappropriately. And this is one of those cases and these doctors created this person's thyroid condition. This is the stuff that really pisses me off and creates chronic problems for people. If you're on thyroid medication and this is similar to your story, your thyroid condition was probably created by clinicians not trying to be bad people. They're just not doing the right job. Now, I may get a lot of uh, flack for this, get a lot of negative feedback, but it's true. Literature says 60 to 90% of the people on thyroid medication were put on it inappropriately. I don't think doctors are being bad people or mean people. They're treating labs inappropriately, lab values inappropriately, or they're giving medication 
because a person's complaining, because a person has signs and symptoms, but that is not the appropriate strategy to help them get healthy and get well. It's not the strategy to help them have normal thyroid physiology. It is just lab manipulation and symptom treatment, which is what we call allopathic medicine. It's not integrative medicine. It's not functional medicine. And I'll end it there. If you have any questions, put them below wherever you watch this video. If you have questions about your own labs or about maybe working with me, go to my uh, profile and there's a link to schedule a discovery call. All right, hope this helps.